Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here. Welcome to another part of Jack 2 Renegade. Uh, today, we are here to collect some precursor orbs. Oh no. How did I possibly miss that one? I may be the biggest idiot ever. Uh, now, yeah, that should explain that this is actually post-commentary, there's been a lot of complications. When I get to the boss, it won't be, but, uh, yeah, basically, during my pursuit for Precursor Orbs, I ended up, I stuffed up, and then I found out that the audio was glitched. Luckily, the cutscene audio isn't glitched, thankfully. So, yeah, we're here on top of Haven Palace, or something like that, like, it, I mean, this is incredible, the scope of this whole area truly truly beautiful uh just look at it we got this massive world we've got there you go there's a precursor orb we've got it just look, it looks awesome honestly it looks so damn good like watching it like this it uh yeah i really do appreciate the hell out of it um got that thing over there that's the mountain temple i think over there you got the snowy mountains of course uh, yeah, it's it's awesome. It's like a real. It's pure platforming, basically. It's all about the platforming and a bit of gunning as well. Trying to oh, really stuff myself up here. Uh, and yeah, there's also you know this pretty much signifies the end of Act One. I'd say yeah, Act One. I reckon we're about 33%. I think we are like about 33% or something like that. So you know that that's kind of important to note. Um, okay. Yeah, I don't know how they do percentage when you've actually, like, because I know when you beat the game, it's like 100%, but then if you do the other missions and stuff, it goes up to more. So it may, like, the percentage right now may not even reflect the side missions. I'm not too sure. But, yeah. All right, so it's this, the platforming isn't too difficult. It's sort of fairly stock standard. Uh, oh, don't stuff up there. It actually, where, where you get towards the end, then it becomes a little bit problematic, as you will see. So I'm just double-checking for everything. And then... I mean, that's just comical. I miss the bloody, I miss the one that's right in front of me there. That's just hilarious. Um, but yeah, here we go. You end up, luckily, you actually, one of the very few checkpoints in this bloody game. There's a checkpoint right there. And that's where the precursor roll was. All good. Yeah. Uh, so, it's quite interesting because, yeah, we get to listen in on a conversation. It's kind of like this cool little thing. Uh, it, yeah, it, one of the great this level and like this boss and just everything is kind of why this game is so good even if the boss can be a little bit difficult if you're playing it for the first time uh, okay there you go make sure you get out and then when it gets high enough you're gonna have to jump over it instead of um, yeah so like that you gotta be strategic whoa so look at that he's there you go oh not bad not bad that's some decent skill there. Not really. Anyway, there's the boss right over there, but we're not going there yet. We've got to go up here. Over to there. All right. Here we go. The important the time has come. The moment is here. Let's listen in on a conversation. I have told you I will have more ego by week's end. We'll transport it directly to your nest as promised. A deal is of no value if you can't deliver, my dear Baron. I grow impatient with your puny gestures. Give me the agreed upon ego soon, or the deal is off, and your precious city will pay the price. He's toying with us! Let me leave an assault on the nest before it's too late! I can take him! Patience, Commander. No one has ever penetrated the Metalhead Nest, you know that. I've seen what comes of such foolish plans. No. Strength is their weakness. We play helpless. We train them to eat from our hands. And then... Move forward with the plan! Tell Ashland to up her patrols. I want that tomb found. But your daughter has not been agreeable. Ah, I'll see to that problem. One way or another. Ashlyn is the Baron's daughter? And find that child! If you'd spent half as much time looking for the little brat as you spent flirting with that mechanic girl, we would have pinned his royal ass to a wall long ago. As you wish. With enough persuasion, I'm sure our spy. That little! What was that? So, we have a 
rat in the walls, do we? A rat in his boy, it seems. Back for a few more dark eco treatments? Will allow me to put you both out of your misery! So here we are doing the boss. Uh, a lot of things have happened that have prevented me from being able to record this earlier. Uh, so yeah, basically this is kind of like a, a stuff up. Um, oh shit, did I just convert to Dark Jack without wanting to? Yep, I think... Oh, what? Did I? No way. I just took him... I took him down. I didn't know Dark Jack... That's freaking awesome. Okay. Yeah, so basically, um, there's been like a couple weeks gap between those parts, but uh, this boss, I actually struggle with this boss. Probably more so than the other one. Uh, I've actually forgotten the bloody control scheme of this game. Okay. That shoots. Yeah, okay, excellent. Okay, good stuff, good stuff. All right, so when you get to the second one, everything changes. So yeah, this is Baron Praxis. Praxis. I actually didn't even talk about that either. So yeah, we're doing the first boss fight. We got caught, as you saw in that cutscene. Uh, so it's quite interesting. Um, Brown Praxis is uh, this is the first of well, oh, I'm gonna oh, spoil it. You know, you, this is not the first time, or this is not the last time we see Baron Praxis. It's not like we kill him here. I think that's sort of should should be gone without saying. I mean, Praxis is sort of a major villain. You wouldn't want it to just that be it. You know. Uh, there we go. I'm I'm kind of unaware of what actually quite hurts him. Sometimes it seems like a few things do. I think that yeah, there you go. Okay, okay. This is actually isn't too difficult. I think it's because I, I don't know, maybe maybe it's because like I've been away for two weeks or something like that. It's like all of a sudden, actually yeah yeah. It's, it's probably oh yeah, this bit fucks me off so much. Okay, damn it, these stupid little fire. They call them his fireflies. It's like more like fire tornadoes or something. Um, Actually, I remember what was one of the problems as well when I originally tried this before I was basically interrupted. Oh, shit. Oh, yes, it's over. Shite. Please be a health pack. Thank you. Okay. Oh, shit. Okay, this could be trouble. All right, let's get out of here. Shit. These fucking stupid... Oh, no! It's over. It's... Oh no! See this this fucking thing. I hate it. It takes so bloody long. Okay. Okay. Well, it's over. Game over, guys. Game over. I had I had this, and now it's uh, it's all it's all gonna come crashing down. But um, okay. Shit. See, so does he heal? What does he do? That yeah. Oh, he yeah, recharges his shit. Oh god. But then if you run out if you run out of this ammo, you have to do the the low range ammo or whatever, which is a real pain in the neck. Uh, like the, um, the the red ammo, we don't have we don't have the Vulcan Fury yet. I just know that name good just because I do. With the Vulcan Fury is the um, is the second is this like the th third or the fourth one. The fourth gun is the Peacemaker, which is from uh, you know that uh, what's his name again? Sig Sig has it, yeah. So that's cool. All right. So usually yeah, the second one, the second bit of the challenge, I'm pretty decent at, so I don't have a problem with that. Um, like right here, as you'll see. There you go, hit him a couple of times. This, yeah, these these weapons here, not too bad at all. Uh, okay, as long as you can just get out the way. Oh, okay, well, that was actually... What the? How did I lose two bits? Did I just lose two bits of health there? Shit, oh, it's over. There's nothing you can do. Sounds like, sounds like a theme song, like uh, Postman Pat. There's nothing you can do. Fireman Sam, I mean Fireman Sam, sorry. Okay, charges up, hit your motherfucker. Okay, if you, it's good if you start over here and then you try and sort of do like that. There you go. It may make it a bit easier. Doing the little dodge roll there always helps as well. And then one more hit. Oh, he's going to run at me, isn't he? Wait, oh, no, he's not. Oh, oh, oh. This is scary. Okay, this is this is the issue here. This weapon here. There you go. Yes, got him. Okay, but I only have two bits of health left. Which in turn is actually one. Okay, all right, here we go. This is where the problem hit. Okay, I'm gonna have to go here quickly right now, restock, get my extra bit of health. Uh, try and stay away from these motherfuckers. Then he comes running at me. Yeah, there you go. Okay, we got 50 bits of health left. Shit, here we go, here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Why am I running towards it? What the fuck? I, 
Oh, I did it fucking wrong. Oh. All right, guys, we're doing pretty well. Almost, on my almost halfway through second hit, second uh, wave, and I haven't been hit yet. This is looking good. This is looking good. Uh, okay. Whoa, shit. All right. There you go. That one keeps respawning, which is good. Giving me my extra uh, ammo when I need it, because I definitely, you bloody well, pretty much guarantee you need it in the second hit. Um, because, I mean, sorry for the final hit, because it's just ridiculous. Um, like, with the whole, what's the, what's the thing called again? Uh, like, these these sort of fire tornado things, it's like they, kind of, like they get so close to you that it's sort of, so far away, sorry, that it's kind of ridiculous to expect to get all the way up there, but, uh, okay, we've only got 24 bits of health left, shit, this is not looking good, it seems like he's, oh shit, where the fuck is my ammo, oh here it is up here, okay, let's get that, oh shit, I'm gonna get hit, talk shit, get hit, oh fuck, okay, there you go, get out the way, it's constant moving around of the camera is what's making it a bit frustrating, Right, there you go. Oh shit. Oh man. Oh shite. Crap. Sorry about the sort of lack of talking. I'm a bit. Uh, gotta sort of keep. Keep. Oh wait. Is that it? I did it. I think I did it. The dark powers I gave you can't protect you forever. Since I made you, I can destroy you. Yeah, whatever. Bye-bye. Hell yes, I did it. Okay, that actually ended up being a lot more nerve-wracking than I originally thought when I originally got to this boss. Um, it's not easy. I mean, it's not super difficult. If you sort of, you know, if you, if you learn how to do it, it, you know, it becomes easy. You just got to sort of avoid the, the first sort of a hit. That's where you sort of stuff up. And this is our final precursor orb for this area. I can't believe I stuffed that whole thing up, leading to all the redoing and cutting out of stuff. I, I thought I was missing one in that area. Um, apologies for that. I apologize profusely, but uh, here we are. We're out of here. We're in the old... This is the, the, you know, the, the palace or whatever. We're going to see some interesting... We're not done with the palace, uh, that's for sure. There's definitely some stuff, some, shen some shenanigans going on with the palace uh, later on but yeah looks beautiful in HD and isn't that a nice view how do you wait. give me my aim how do I get to yeah there you go it's quite hard to see but there's the big castle or thing or whatever it is uh, anyway with that I do we have any side missions to do no I don't think we do so we'll head off to Torn. That we've got some important story missions now, uh, getting into sort of the next phase of the game. We're, we're about one third of the way there. So for like I think it's been like 15 parts or something like that. So that's pretty good. Um, I am really looking forward to sort of the next chapter of this game, I guess, so to speak. Um, this will probably be one of the. Hopefully, I'll be able to record a few more parts because then I've got Ellen coming uh, to Australia. In on Friday, if this is uploaded hopefully on the Tuesday, it'll be on the Friday, so uh, yeah, things are gonna get busy. But I'm gonna try and get all this as much stuff out the way as possible. When I say out the way, I use that with a positive sort of meaning. And it's funny, funny how this this route here is actually the route that I had to take to get to um, that bloody that bloody mission. Also, it's, it's very blur. I mean, because I'm not wearing my glasses, but it's very blurry right now. Uh, like, it looks sort of more foggy than usual. Um, is that because of the event that transpired or something like that or maybe this can it take place during the day? I can't remember. Probably can. And maybe that maybe it's a stylistic choice though. Anyway guys, sorry to leave you so soon. I'll be back for another part. It's gonna be a lot of fun. First we'll uh, no watch this cutscene in the next part. So thank you guys very much.